very entertaining to watch. Absolutely. <laughs> and now, we're gonna let things keep moving. On to number four. Now entering the ring, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 220 pounds, representing TOS Boxing Gym and trained by DeVero Williamson, Brendan BZ Zare! There he is, let's go, big Let's get it. This is a big energy right I'm going to make a statement before we get too far into this fight. Oh, but yeah. I will say Brandon Zer walking out to Bees in the Trap, a Nicki Minaj song, and you are 226-2. That is some of the most intimidating energy that I've seen tonight. That's, that is big energy. That's all I'll say. B knows that Bees in the Trap. Bees in the damn trap, baby. Please welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 230 pounds, representing Topiera Boxing Club and trained by Joaquin Romero, Sam Collins! All right, all right. He's ex I think he's feeling good. Now here's a question for you. If you had to choose to come out first or second, would you rather come out first or second? Second, always. Second, always. Now, if I'm coming out second, I don't need to. I don't need to be thrown off by the statement being made by by the second fighter, right? Yes. They do say that there's an A side and a B side to every fight. I'm not sure if we're doing that here tonight, but I always want to come out second because I want you to see me come through. I want you to see me come out and feel that energy that I'm putting at you instead of feel out to the world, energy. right? I love that. Quite a statement. Our fourth bout of the evening is brought to you by our gold yeah, sponsor, Zare Enterprise. We have so far, BZ, 220, baby. 230. My goodness. My goodness, we got, yeah, we got, we got our guy BZ in the red, Sam's in the blue. Now let's, let's not ignore that we have, you know, Yet another fighter from Topieta Boxing. Like that's a that's another staple gym that's bringing fighters into this event. So, so many from Topieta. It's impressive. I mean, to to see how many fighters they're bringing in, it, it truly tells me that they're prepared as an organization to truly bring this up to speed. They, they they know what they're doing. And especially after the time the time off that we've taken during the pandemic, coming back and forth. It's very good Respect point. Respect right there. And you do wonder, you know, these these fighters may, might have been on ice for a little while. Yeah. You know, how do they use that time? People, a lot of these people have been on the list to Come fight for a really long time since their last. All right, gentlemen, I gave you instructions in the so corners. Here, Obey my commands at all times. Most time. importantly, protect That's yourself true. at all times. Keep your punches in front. Turn your punches and punch with your knuckles. Any questions? Last questions. Touch them up. Come out fighting. To provide. This, man knows how to, this man knows how to work things from the start to the finish. He knows how to put the plan together. Right, and he knows how to delegate. delegate. And you know what he knows how to delegate? This left and right hand. Oh, song. man. That's A right. Bit of the, oof, right off from oh, the beginning. Oh, my goodness. Now, He's let's not ignore hands. that oh. Sam Collins, Mr. 6 for himself, knows how to dole out the hospitality of a left hook. A, and I hope we see the that. The hospitality of an uppercut, a right hook. You name it, comes on a silver platter, baby. Now, I do expect the bigger fighters here, since they do want to throw those power shots more often, we're not going to see as many ones and twos, right? Not we're going to see more one. looping punches. Big. Exactly. Loops. And Pain I do makers. expect them to kind of clash a little bit more, right? I want yeah. to see those mountain goats truly, you know, hit oh, yeah. each other. Big horn sheep. That's right, big horn sheep. Is the term. Rocking. 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 Uh, yeah. The boys are rocking. The boys are rocking. Oh. Also, um, yeah, rocking. Classic. All right, here it goes, here it goes. Now, the adrenaline in the first couple seconds wore off. Now we're starting to plan it out. That's true. Still light on the toes. 
we're seeing a lot of uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of linear energy, right? We're seeing a lot of bouncing up and down between these bouts. Now that's not going to be that's not going to be a, a knockdown. Knock not a clean. We see the legs get tangled. Somebody, somebody went down. down. That's it. The legs got tangled. When well, we see these bigger guys, I'm not surprised that we see that happen. Sorry, baby. It's true, especially when those legs get tangled, right? Make sure you fall. Sorry. Now, when you see two guys this big, it's, it's tough to see, but who's really going to be the longer fighter mm -hmm. here? You got 6'4 and 6'2. Who's going to use that reach? Who's, I, I, I do think, yeah, I think that Sam Collins, Collins definitely has a little bit more of a reach. Now, this clinch fighting is going to be a little bit tricky, right? These big guys want to throw big punches, so they're going to clash heads a little bit more. You can only have so much reach in those moments. Uh -huh. Now, when you're looking at this, I know, let's, let's be honest for everyone here, are, <laughs> you're talking to two, two boys in the 5'7 the to 5'9 range. I, I know the camera makes us look really tall. Very. But we're we're uh, both, I'm 5'8". I'm 5'7", five five seven. Seven. my feet are dangling on this chair. It's a high chair. My feet aren't touching the, it's a high chair. Touching the floor. So I don't know what it's like to be in a 6'4 body. I don't know what it's like to be in a 6'2". I have two. no idea what it's like to be that tall. But I, I don't know. I, I, I would love to see a little bit more activity from the boys. More activity. And not necessarily in the sake of bouncing up and down, not necessarily yep. in the amount of punches landed. Like moving with purpose. Moving with purpose. I want to see some feints. I want to see how you react to when and I'm like, throwing those slight feints out there. With, with guys this big, like you said, like they both have got a long reach. So it's not like they have to make a crazy amount of space to close, but just taking that taking that step forward knowing to like knowing to cover it while you're still looking to open up a shot close that gap that's right and when i'm looking at this going into the second round i feel like the same advice could ring true for both fighters they seem pretty evenly matched right now i do so, i think that first round was very evenly matched i think this is all about who takes the first back step right yeah. now all right back to the corner and we got a second chance to see who does it one more time back to the corners all right, here we go. All right, we already All see right. our man in red. Feet are light, feet are light. We see BZ take that step back, which does make him at a slight disadvantage to really use what he has. Yep. Okay, BZ's making a statement. Yeah, He's throwing big finish. shots. Lord. My goodness. Now we have the ego take over, right? We're clinch fighting, we're throwing hooks over the top, and a big push that we see. Now, the hospitality, sir, may I have another? Sir, may Please. I have another? Your room's ready at three. You know, <laughs> second from the desk. Down. Turn it down, man on the pillow. Oh, you'd love to see somebody get oh, down, Oh, right there. One, Can two, you three on the butt. We saw BZ trying to plant that foot. I mean, we were just talking about reaching. Hit a grand slam. You went for a big reach. My guy went for that lead hook from grandma's house, but that's okay. Well, it it's only about made it, putting yourself out there. Room. This event's putting yourself out there. I'm not surprised we're seeing shots in the same way. Big shots. Big yeah, these shots. boys are taking a little bit of a breather, right? They might be clear on the cobwebs because there were some big shots that just landed right there. What do you think, Matt? Big shot. I think they're taking a breather. A, Collins, after taking a couple shots right on the button, and BZ, after hitting all the way down to the floor. Both of them are going to take a second to let that recharge. But when that's at, when that... When that fatigue starts to build, that is your chance to pop in. Find those shots right there. What's making me a little nervous at the moment, to be completely honest, Martillo, is I'm seeing our man from the red corner, I'm seeing BZ use that backhand as his lead shot. He just landed a beautiful one. But if he's not working his way in, he could be he could be opening himself up to some damage. Oh, but the man is getting taken! Here we go. We got a standing eight. We got a standing eight count right now. Standing eight count. This is our first, first one of the night. night. First, first one of the night. Standing I'll take that. BZ's feeling good. He's looking at the camera. Oh, do you hear these BZ? Do you hear that chant? My man is in. Oh my goodness. My, my guy brought the entire real estate department. Oh, and the fight is off. The fight That's is it. over. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Took him to eight. BZ, I apologize. I thought that well, that river him would lead you astray. We but it brought you home to salvation, baby. You sold that house. Oh, Lord. Give me the out. deed. Give me the deed. I'll sign it. Where's the pen? Where's the paper? Sign it over. Now, this it is the first stoppage of the night. Let's not skip over that for a millisecond. Now, how are you one. feeling if you're BZ right now? You just got the first stoppage of the night. First what one. energy do you feel right now? 
guy is on top of the world. And look at him, he feels good. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't even have to wait. He doesn't know whether to shake somebody's hand or kiss a baby. I think he's going to go kiss a trainer. I don't know. Kiss a trainer. It's okay. We support showing your love and affection just as much as we like to show hands. A big congratulation goes to our man BZ, but Sam Collins, you Hats fought a beautiful you, fight. Hats off to you. You fought a beautiful fight. Beautiful you got fight. hit, you gave it back, you didn't let anyone walk over you today. That second round, he really turned it up. Went straight in, started like being aggressive, precise, taking those shots right towards the head. Got Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our big heavyweights out there. Letting those haymakers go. Oh. Our referee has called a stop to the action in the second round, declaring your winner out of the red corner, Brandon B. <laughs>